looked at a host of things about proteins, including where they're made, how they're made, what they are even. Uh, we've also looked at a myriad of factors that influence how they fold. Now, any number of these things can screw up or go wrong, like the temperature, the pH in a cell, the pressure. There could be mutations in that sequence of amino acids, if you remember that, that talk. Yeah, the DNA could be wrong, the mRNA could screw up, the transfer RNA might not go to the right place. You could also have the helper proteins or the chaperones not being able to help out. This can lead to at least three possibilities, as in the misfolding of proteins. The first of which is there's no difference whatsoever. That protein will function just the same. Now there's also a small percent that this could actually improve the organism or be very beneficial or helpful. And the third and most likely chance is that it's detrimental or harmful to that organism. This could lead to diseases like mad cow, cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. You can check out more about these diseases and what folding at home is really all about by using the links below or the ones off onto the side.